Hello, country and town. This is Pastor Todd. It is Tuesday of Holy Week. This devotion comes from Matthew 24. I remember a friend once telling me that his mother, who had recently visited Manhattan for the first time, was unimpressed by the city's famous skyline. The reason for this lack of wonder? She had been to Dubai. A Tuesday of Holy Week finds Jesus and his disciples trekking up the Mount of Olives after visiting nearby Jerusalem. A tall as a modern 15-story building and shining bright in the sun, the glory of the temple impresses the disciples. Yet Jesus tells them not to be captivated with the works of men. A day will come, he tells them, when every stone will be cast down. And thus begins an interesting conversation about the world's last days. And here we pick up from Matthew 24, verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened, the moon will not give its light, the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then will appear in heaven the sign of the Son of Man, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. And Jesus is teaching on the Mount of Olives and other companion passages such as Revelation and Paul's letter to the Thessalonians are difficult to understand. However, a few things are as clear today as they must have been on that Tuesday evening so long ago. The Lord is in control of all events. Jesus will return in power to judge the wicked. He will gather his elect from the four corners of the earth and they will be with him forever. We know little about the future, but what we know can be very reassuring. That is, as long as we focus on what Jesus' words are and not man's works. In the New Jerusalem, there will be no thinking about New York, Dubai, Rome, or anywhere else. We may not comprehend it all, but we comprehend enough. Jesus is coming back. Would you pray with me? Lord God, help me trust you with my future. Lord God, help me focus on you and not the works of man. Amen. Please join us again tomorrow for another devotion in Holy Week.